Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Emmett's Place number 95. Woo! <laughs> We're so uh, honored to have in the house with us on the drums, Mr. Kyle Nathan Poole. On the bass, on the bass, that's Philip Norris. And uh, we'd like to thank our sponsor this evening, his second show in a row, sponsoring uh, us this the last time and also this week, Mr. Richard Reichneck. So thank you, Richard. Yeah. You can clap for Richard, too. <laughs> and uh, we have a very special guest, uh, originally from New Jersey, where I'm from, too, Scott. 973. Uh, but he grew up in Virginia and uh, has been in New York for how many years? 1984. 
since 1984, and just a twinkle in somebody's eye. <laughs> he asked where I was in 1984, <laughs> and uh, and we're, we're we're so we're so honored and humbled to have in the house one of the great multi instrumentalists, saxophonists, uh, musicians, composers, uh, and thinkers, chemists, all of the above. Uh, his name is Scott Robinson. Please put your hands together.
Wow. Hey, everybody. I'm Scott. Thanks for being here. Emmett Cohen. Wow. Kyle Poole. Philip Norris. These guys already show they don't need me up here. But uh, here I am. So, um, you know, I was going to come in and do a nice relaxed thing, just play a couple of tunes, play the tenor and a little bit of trumpet. Last night I'm on the phone with him and he's like, no, no, you got to bring all your stuff, you got to bring all the horns and all the, cr bring your tunes and your music. And uh, so, uh, here we go. <laughs> you know, I got, I got a lot of stuff over here. We're going to have a yard sale later. <laughs> but uh, anyway, it's great, it's great to finally be up here and uh, thank you very much for having me. It's amazing, uh, you know, your musicality and what you've done, what you've accomplished. It's just fantastic. But all of that, they all know all about that. So uh, you want to do your young and foolish thing? So uh, one, one of the things he sp he, Emmett specifically said, we've got to bring the C melody saxophone. So mo most of y'all probably don't even know what that is because it's a uh, beautiful thing about it is that it's completely obsolescent. That's what I love about it. It's a very unusual saxophone sound. You don't hear it uh, very often anymore. And it's a very special kind of a, a uh, fragile kind of a saxophone sound. So we're actually going to do Emmett's arrangement of a beautiful song, Young and Foolish.
Yeah, Emma told me, this is your show. Take over the show. Run the show. So I'm supposed to do everything. I came in the first thing. We moved the furniture around. <laughs> we changed the drapes. And uh, it's looking a lot nicer in here. <laughs> so, yeah, my bed's going to go over there. And uh, <laughs> So, look, this year is... Uh, we're celebrating a, a couple of very important centennials this year, Charles Mingus and the great Frank West. And I was personally very close with Frank West. Um, he meant a very, very great deal to me, and he gave me a lot of opportunities, and I learned an amazing amount of music from this man and spent many, many wonderful times on the road and in his apartment, and I owe Frank a great deal. So this year I'm playing his music basically every chance I get. So this is one of those chances. So we're going to play one of Frank's tunes. It's really fun to play. You made a good move.
Yeah. Listen to the dog? Yeah, it's that one.
All right, that was for Frank. That was, uh, yeah, that was for Frank West. That was a beautiful, beautiful tune that he, he introduced uh, me to on a record that we did, uh, I don't know, nine, 1993 or something like that. Uh, we started a little band together, a little octet. And uh, this is one of the tunes that he played, uh, written by Kenny Burrell, Listen to the Dawn. And uh, this is actually Frank's bass flute. That's the horn he played it on. I don't deserve to have it, but I do. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's for Frank West. We're gonna. Wh what do you want to play next? Uh, you want to do Sweet Pumpkin, maybe? Or you want to take it up? Yeah, we can take it up. All right. Uh, here's a tune nobody seems to know or play that. Uh, I learned from Keith Ingham, who knows 100,000 million tunes. You know Keith? Yeah. He's a, he's a pianist. He knows 800,000 tunes. And uh, he brought this into a recording session, and I kind of fell in love with it. And this is by Hoagie Carmichael, and apparently this was Hoagie's mother's favorite song. I'm not making that up. It's called One Morning in May. Kind of goes with Listen to the Dawn, doesn't it? One morning in May.
Scott Robinson.
What do you mean, coming out of his hair? It suits, sir. Did you see he says, um... Man, there's a lot of people in here now. There's more than come to my gigs. <laughs> look at all this. It's free here. Man, look at you all. Wow. <laughs> Where have you been in all my gigs? Oh, is it, uh... Is it time for show and tell? What do you think? Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> so I wasn't going to bring this, uh, this hat, but a fan actually wrote and said, oh, this is an occasion for the hat, because it only comes out on special occasions. So this is a special occasion. I'm thrilled to finally be here playing with you, man. Wow. for real. Thank you. Thank you very much. You too. <laughs> Even you. <laughs> That was some duet, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, some yeah. <laughs> Kyle Poole over here. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. All right, so the hat is something I dreamed about for years and years and years, taking all my old reeds. For those of you out there who don't know what a reed is, it's the bane of my existence. These little, these little wooden, these little bits of wood. This is what actually makes the sound. It's not the instrument. That just kind of amplifies it. 
and I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, you know, I never throw anything away, and I don't throw any of my reeds away, and I keep them all. And I always, for years, dreamed of making a hat out of reeds, and I finally did it. it took me two weeks to make it, and some uh, fan out there wanted me to wear it, so there you go. Oh. <laughs> That's a great story. Yeah. So these are all reeds that I've played on over many, many years. You know, these are worn out reeds that I set aside. So, I mean, some of these reeds have been played with, uh, you know, Bob Brookmeyer and Horace Parlin and Chet Baker. And uh, there's a lot of music history in these reeds. You've got to leave it to the Jazz Museum one day. Uh, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. I'm not in a hurry. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> So uh, I'll wear it for a little while anyway. That's, a, that's my reed hat. My wife makes the rest of my clothes. Um, Give me that back. You can't. You can't. You you can't have a shirt. Yeah, I wouldn't permit that because I wouldn't permit you to do what you would have to do in order to have a shirt made for you. Sorry, that's just the reality. I got you. So, so uh, yeah, my wife is, is a very special person. And uh, another very special person is my dear brother, David. And uh, so I want to play a song for him because it's his birthday today. Wow. Yeah. Uh, my brother Dave happens to be uh, uh, a, a dear friend, and he's my biggest music fan in the world. He wants to have and hear everything I've ever done, everything I've ever recorded. Uh, he's kind of a completist. So I, I think he's watching this show, even though he should be out enjoying his birthday. But uh, he's a great guy. He's done a lot for uh, traditional jazz music. He lives down in the D.C. area. And for more than 30 years, he's directed a youth band called Capital Focus. And uh, it's wonderful what he's done. A lot of these kids have ended up here in New York playing like the the Anderson uh, brothers, Pete and Will, you've probably had them on here, and uh, 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 Matt Musselman, a lot of people are here in New York that came out of his program. So uh, he's a great guy, and uh, I want to wish him a happy birthday. So I thought it'd be fun to play this kind of ridiculous old tune that we both like because we grew up listening to it on the player piano that we had in our house. This was one of our favorite player piano roles. And so I thought it'd be fun to play for David, this is for you. This is Nobody Lied. Thank you. 
play the bass saxophone when you wear that hat no i play the bass saxophone any chance i get the, 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 the trouble is just getting it there it's like phil wood said i play for free you pay me to get there you know <laughs> next time i'll bring the contrabass it's literally twice the size you have to go to your house for that
Thank you all so much. Once again, Kyle Poole on the drums. That's Philip Norris on the bass. That's the great Scott Robinson. Yes. On all the woodwinds. <laughs> We'd like to thank our sponsor, Drink, Bimble, for all your CBD needs. Yeah, I want to say something about that. And uh, we'd also like to... Uh, sorry, can I say something? You know, uh, at home I have this kind of made-up language. I make up these crazy words, and it's kind of a language I only speak with my wife or Pat O'Leary. <laughs> Only those two people, <laughs> and I can swear that, that this is uh, this is stolen from my personal crazy language, bimble. <laughs> I saw that on your email, and I said, I said to my wife, I said, look at this. That's taking your language. they're taking my, they're they're taking my stuff here. And you know what she said? She said they should make an alcoholic version and call it bumble. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, Dan. Scott, I'm sorry to inform you that's a dating app already. <laughs> look, at, look at Phil, he knows. <laughs> um, we'd like to thank Richard. Richard Reitneck, thank you so much for your sponsorship. We appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, thank you for making this happen. Uh, if anyone's interested in sponsoring a show, uh, all you have to do is email us or, or reply, to, reply to some communications. Uh, we're going to play you out with the blues. Wh wh which one are we doing? Clarence Williams, 1925 or 23 or something like that. Kansas City Man Blues. Kansas City Man Blues. Which I also learned from my brother no. Dave. Yep. Happy birthday, David.
Dobbin Rue on the on the piano. Thank you so much for coming. We met Kamsamnida from South Korea. We met the other day at Smalls, and I invited her to come, and she sounds absolutely wonderful. Uh, so thank you for coming. Once again, Kyle Poole on the drums. <laughs> Philip Norris on the bass. And the great Scott Robinson on, on saxophones and trumpet. Thank you.